guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. This is my updated office tour for summer of 2013. My last one was technically the very, very last day of winter 2013. So I kind of skipped spring, but a little bit has changed here and there. Mainly my shelf, which I'll go through in somewhat minor detail. And then I'll definitely do another office tour in fall slash winter 2013, depending on what I add. Anyway, let's get started. Hey, Mal. I know. All right, so starting out the tour, this is where I was standing, right here. And actually, I do a lot of videos right here or right here for obvious reasons. Window and window. There is nothing better than natural light. Anyway, here's Maui. Maui, say hi. I know, such a tough life, right? There's my little robot, which I never really made a video on because I found out it doesn't record video. It only streams video to your iOS device. But maybe I'll make a video on it still if you guys are interested. Let me know. Here's my door, which is always open. Well, rarely closed, I should say. Um, that is my office sign. But I gotta say, this door closed. Actually, let me do this real quick. Let me close this. See you, Mal. My floor is very dirty. Oh, crap. My angry bird just fell. But as you can see, it looks pretty sweet. No, well, it's very dark in here. But believe me, it does look pretty sweet. Hey, Mal, you trapped? He's like, what's happening? This is chaos. I got you, Mal. Come on. Ooh. I'm hitting the angry birds. All right, picking up the birds. They usually go up there, but I'm not, I'm not gonna waste your time by doing that on video. Here's my Macworld magazine. Yes, it is an actual anniversary edition from my good friend, Alfred de Blasi, also known as youtube.com slash a de Blasi. Check him out. Again, thank you, Alfred, for that. Here's my little monkey dude that hangs in my door. He just kind of chills it. You don't usually see him, because again, the door is facing that way. Here's a dog tag bracelet thingy, whatever you want to call it. Not bracelet, I don't know. Anyway, OS 10, 10.3 Panther. I was not there for the world worldwide release, but I went through a phase on eBay where I bought a, bought a bunch of uh, Apple stuff on eBay. All right, getting to my shelf. This was just entirely redone a week or two ago. It took me hours upon hours. It might not look like much, but believe me, it did take a while because I mainly organized a bunch of stuff into that case, which I'll open up soon. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into great detail because there's a lot of stuff on here, but you can look at it for yourself and if you have any questions, as always, just post below. But I'll give you a quick overview. Cronin Ball, Angry Birds Ball, Dunder Mifflin Ball, official Apple mug from my friend Melanie. Thank you so much for making this possible. Yes, this is an, an official Apple mug from their company store. Christmas 2009 Hershey's bar that I got from New York City, Christmas 09. And up here we have a bunch of boxes. A Sony, uh, actually not Sony, Geotech PS3 controller, Rode VideoMic Pro, Wii U Wiimote, Wii U Pro controller, the Tetris Lite, which is not plugged in currently, but it does look sweet as is. Mario Lip Balm from Loot Crate, some Atari candy. Wait, is this Atari? I forget. Uh, yeah, Atari, there you go. Atari, I don't want to mix up Atari with the ColecoVision, so. There are two pairs of Loot Crate glasses. This one I wore in Seaside 2013. And this is a little vibrating. Dude, I don't really know what the point is. He just kind of goes crazy. Actually, if you have cats, then they'll love it. And there he goes, see? He just kind of goes nuts. All right, come back here. Put him back up there. My Furby with, I think this is Loot Crate, I forget. Oh, Zombie Hunter, as you can see right there. So he just kind of chills up there with Pikachu, which is from Seaside 2013. A Mario thing, Space Invaders. This is from my friend Crazy Curls, also known as Aaron. I will be seeing her in Vegas next January. I, uh, I just can't wait for CES, it's gonna be awesome. But anyway, she sent me this as a gift um, a while ago. And I always leave it on December since my birthday is in December. Moving on, I have my Darth Vader and Yoda bobbleheads. As well as back there, you can sort of see it. 
at least from my angle, Dark Maul, Dark Maul, I'm sorry, Darth Maul earbuds, which I will not open. I prefer to leave them in the case. Well, because one, I don't need them, and two, I like saving things. Here's my bracelet collection. This isn't all of them, but the ones I think are worth putting on display. Video Game High School on DVD, a Loot Crate member card. I'm looter number 437, in case you're wondering. And in here, this is very interesting. This is a Spider-Man lunchbox I got from Loot Crate months ago. Now, opening it, you'll see, actually, it's a lot of pressure. That way it flung, uh, you know, that's because why it flung open. Wow, I'm just tripping over my own words. It's dust. Anyway, these are basically just things that I keep in here rather than putting on my shelf because I don't really need to put everything on display. So this is my way of saving a lot of space. So let's put that back there. Doing all this one-handed is very interesting. There we go. Lunchbox is back in place. I also have a Crash Bandicoot little plush thingy. Maui, what are you doing? You here? You really want to go outside? Go outside. Be careful. He's very hyper today. All right, back to the tour. That's my little Crash Bandicoot plush dolly thingy. Not doll. Plush toy. Tom Nook, which I just got off my wish list over at davidswishes.com. I don't know who sent it to me, but if you can tweet me when you see this video, please let me know and I'll post your links below. Reese from Animal Crossing, also from davidswishes.com. A Mario little thingy and a Space Invaders, I think. Space Invaders bow tie from Loot Crate, as well as Diddy Kong, Mario, and Donkey Kong. A little Triforce shield thingy got going on there from Zelda. And now I'm going to have a hard time putting that back up. Yeah, I'll do that after this video. My Power Up Energy Drink, which is empty, but I just saved it because it's kind of a memory of Loot Crate. Another Mario thingy. And finally, a Wii U box. Moving down to the next section, this is my brand new Wawa shrine, guys. This is a first for me. Now, there's only so many Wawa items I have. But over the years, I built up some Wawa mugs for my friend David Banther, as well as Wawa Corporate actually sent me a surprise gift, you know, that box for summer, which is awesome. So both those gift baskets slash boxes, whatever you want to call them, contain several mugs and other things you see in here. So over time, I built up my collection and finally created a, a yeah, Wawa shrine. So I have several mugs here. I have the official Wawa mascot. For those of you not aware, Wawa does mean Canada Goose. Not Canadian Goose, Canada Canada Goose, and we actually see him around here all the time, so that's where Wawa comes from. Um, just Wikipedia, it. it's actually very interesting. A huge Wawa cup, which I'll never use, it's just kind of decoration. And, like I said, several mugs. I do have a Wawa truck, which is very cool, I've had this thing for years. My first box of Wawa K-Cups ever, and yes, I saved my first Wawa K-Cup ever. Yes, I like my... Nostalgia, however you say that word, but there is my Wawa shrine. I love it. All right, let's speed things up a bit here. This is my filing cabinet thingy, um, as well as with my checks and payments and stamps. My bobbleheads. We have Luigi, Bowser, and Yoshi. As you know, Mario died years ago. Smokey took his head off, but hey, that's life. My Oddworld Munches can. Yeah, my Munches can. My Munches Odyssey can. Still unopened. I'm keeping true to my promise to myself, guys. I am not going to open this until the day I die in my deathbed. Unless somebody wants to pay me, like, to open that, then I will. But for now, I'm not going to open it. And finally, a little Angry Birds pig. And yes, my voice is going out. So let's just move on here. This is my eye shrine, which used to be right here. So this is basically the same, although I have added a couple things, such as the new iPod Nano, which is right there. I split up my OS X cats into sections. My ticks clock is still in the middle, with the iPad box back there hiding the power outlet. So now the ticks clock looks better than ever. I mean, you can't even see one cable from this angle, which is awesome. And eventually, I want to put like an LED strip behind that box to kind of like emit the eye shrine to make it look even more official. So eventually when that happens, I will make another video on just the eye shrine and go into much greater detail. 
Moving to the right, this is also a brand new section. This is my camera section, or whatever I'm gonna call it. There's really no official name. This is my original Canon Rebel T4i box that I got last July. My 75 to 300 millimeter lens, my 40 millimeter lens, and finally my 50 millimeter lens, also known as the Nifty 50, as well as all of their original boxes. Oh, and down here, this is a little light prism that I ordered on Amazon. I think it was like $7, $10, whatever. This is kind of like an experiment I will be doing soon where you kind of take pictures with the light refracting through it. Now you really can't see much, but you can actually take some pretty sweet pictures as I hit the lens. So you probably heard a little noise, but expect a future video on that at some point. And now falling off my shelf down here, this is my backpack where my MacBook Pro th uh, fits. I almost had a lisp there. Sits, which is actually out there for the time being because I've been working on a new website of mine. But that is a great bag. Several tripods, a mic stand, my Canon T4i camera case, my Panon, my Panon, my Panasonic HTC SD600K camera case, my Google CR1 notebook case. I actually got this bag from Alfred or David. I forget. I'm drawing a blank, guys. Either way, they're my two great Florida friends. But in here is my CR1, which I did get for free a couple years ago from Google. So again, thank you, Google, for that. That is awesome. There's my trash can, which as you can see is mostly just Wawa coffee cups. These are my Angry Birds, which again, do go up there. So I'll do that after this video. My journal from 1998 and maybe even a little before that. I will do videos on that eventually. David Bather, this is actually your SD card. I still need to send it back. It's got some video projects on it. Dwight Bobblehead, Logitech speakers, 2.1. The subwoofer is down there. I believe it's 120 watts, 150? I'm not sure. 23 inch Apple cinema display. I love this thing. I've had this since I got my Mac Pro. And then here's my Asus 24 inch display with Apple, Bluetooth keyboard, a um, Mighty Mouse, yeah, Mighty Mouse, Magic Mouse, a floppy disk, people always get fooled in videos. Guys, it's literally floppy. It's a coaster, that's all it is. My iPod Touch, as well as my iPhone, uh, an Apple pen that I, again, got from the company store from my friend Melanie, so thank you so much for that. This is now my official pen for this desk. And here is a revised contract slash partnership with Squarespace, so if you guys wanna check them out, click that link right below. Guys, seriously, Squarespace is amazing. I've been using them for years. Here is my computer chair, which is definitely showing its age. I have a thing of water right now because my throat's been bothering me today, so I've been taking sips between cuts. That's why you're probably seeing more cuts than usual. Down here is my Mac Pro, which has been collecting dust lately. Look at this. It sucks in dust like a mother. But that's okay. That means I've been using it like a mother. Yes, I have been getting a lot of work done on a new, on a new project uh, lately, so it's all good. This is my SD card reader with an SD card in it, 32 gigabytes for my Canon T4i. Over here is a mess. This is my TV lighting kit that used to be in my living room, but since I ordered the light pack from Kickstarter a few months ago, I should have it hopefully by next month. Those things usually take a while. This kit is now going in my office, most likely under my desk, and then eventually I'll have a single LED strip again behind the iPad box which should look awesome. I did try one of these strips. It's just too big and there's too many cables to hide it behind all these iPad, uh, iPods and I, iOS boxes basically. So I just wanna make the presentation nice and clean. So expect that in a future video. Here's my very messy tower. I definitely have to get a new one. I've said that before and I'll say it again. Uh, but this tower is um, kinda g because you can see all the cables, which does bother me. Anyway, starting down here, this is my battery backup. This is a scale for shipping packages via USPS or anything else, UPS, FedEx, all that good stuff. This is my Mac Mini, which is still dead, unfortunately, but for now, it's just on display. But hey, it's better than nothing, right? This is my Philips Hue router, base station, whatever you want to call it. Actually, the better word is base station, yeah. Um, this is great. This is my Apple Airport Extreme, which I love. Best router I've ever owned. This is my Motorola SB6121 surfboard modem. And this is my Western Digital external hard drive, which is actually hooked up to my Airport Extreme 
right there. And heading down, this is my Audio Technica AT2020 mic with a pop filter being unused for the time being because my PC is in my bedroom now because I no longer stream live, but that will return at a later date. I'm just very busy nowadays and the stream is kind of distracting. Hence the empty desk, guys. There's nothing on this desk whatsoever, at least up here. So Maui kind of just chills there during the day, but he's outside right now. Opening this up, you'll see several cables, a cleaning cloth, old RAM, my up band when I feel like wearing it. And in here, scotch tape, batteries, glue, uh, beats, a gift card for Zappos that I still need to use, and all that good stuff. And heading down, this is my Epson Workforce 845 printer. Guys, I love this printer. It prints via wireless, you know, also known as Wi-Fi. Easily the best printer I have ever owned. I have no complaints about it. And that is saying a lot because I hate printers in general. But this thing has been awesome. This is my new shipping center, which, by the way, if you have a good memory, used to be up there. But I figured, why do I want to put that kind of stuff on display? when I can put something better on this place, such as Wawa goodies, right? So yes, down here is now my new shipping center, as well as my printing center, if you want to call it that, for DVDs, Blu-rays, which I do have, a bunch of cases back there for clients when I do print video projects, packing tape, envelopes, labels, boxes, all that good stuff. Now heading to the left, this is my light slash tower. Down here is an iPad mini, which I will be shipping soon. A second winner was picked. Uh, just check my Twitter account or check Fodderp's Twitter account. I forget the person who won, uh, but the first person who won is located in Philadelphia. So congratulations again. Seriously, I mean, that's awesome that you actually won an iPad mini. So the second winner will get the white one. And I saw these Amazon gift cards give away. The first winner still hasn't responded for the $50 Amazon gift card. And that is a Zugu case that I still have to give away for the iPad mini. Here's my first generation Apple TV. Obviously I don't use it nowadays, so I'd rather put it on display than just put it in storage. And I think it looks pretty good there. It fits pretty well. This is my Canon uh, lens cap, which I will put on right now. My light cube. Turn that on real quick. But this does go on every single night, even while I'm sleeping. Uh, I just love seeing my office illuminate with all these different colors in it. It looks really cool. And let's put that lamp on. I don't know why that lamp wasn't on to begin with, actually, but there it is. My Canon C4i, which is now my main camera for my tech video. So normally, I'm sitting right about here, and the camera goes right about here. So again, this is my Canon C4i with the Rode VideoMic Pro. Awesome combination, guys. Easily the best DSLR I have ever owned. And again, huge thanks to Quibids for making that possible over at ddfranca.com slash Quibids. Check out my guide if you're interested. This is my Alta 204AP tripod. Easily the best tripod I've ever owned. Seriously, I love this tripod. It just overall does a kick-ass job. Here's my door. Kind of g -heado, but that's okay. I now have my, well, I still have my acoustic phone panels right here to kind of capture some of the sound. And again, if you have a good memory, I used to have two more panels up there, but I recently took them down because I wanted to make the room look a little more clean. And honestly, nowadays, reverb isn't a huge issue because this area rug does a lot of the work for me. And over here is a little Rubik's Cube from Loot Crate. And since this is an old-fashioned house, this light switch right here, literally controls the power of the entire office. Yes, so if I flick this off right now, my Mac Pro displays everything would just go off. Now, I think that's it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. I didn't want to go too in-depth because eventually I'll do another Tour of a Geek's desk. That's when I go really in-depth with specs and accessories and prices and everything like that. Uh, but I do think this is a pretty good overview of my office. Real quick, one more time, here's a nice overall shot. And I think, I think you guys will enjoy this, hopefully. 
Anyway guys, if you have any questions, you're always free to post your questions, slash comments, feedback, all that good stuff right below. And if you did like this video, please click that like button. I'm trying to get people more involved. I mean, I notice I have thousands of views on each video, but it's rare for a video of mine to pass a thousand likes. So if you guys do appreciate my videos and you, and you appreciate my comment, my comments, well, my comments too, but my content, please I just ask you that you click that like button. I'm just trying to get people more engaged. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna go food shopping, if you must know. But the good thing about going food shopping is I always get an acne, acne. I always get a Wawa afterwards, so it's all good. Thank you guys so much for your continued support, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.